you had any trouble with them? Not at all. I will inform you if that changes. your service. don't have the manpower to take the castle. Either we find another way in, or give up this nonsense and go and get the Templars. Red Cliff is in the hands of a Magister. This cannot be allowed to stand. The letter from Alexius asked for the Herald of Andraste by name. It's an obvious trap. We can't waste time fighting among ourselves. We have to come to an agreement. A Tevinter Magister controls Redcliffe, invites us to the castle to talk, and some of us want to do nothing. Not this again. Redcliffe Castle is one of the most defensible fortresses in Ferelden. It has repelled thousands of assaults. If you go in there, you'll die, and we'll lose the only means we have of closing these rifts. I won't allow it. And if we don't even try to meet Alexius, we lose the mages and leave a hostile foreign power on our doorstep. Even if we could assault the keep, it would be for naught. An Orlesian Inquisition's army marching into Ferelden would provoke a war. Our hands are tied. The Magister... ...has outplayed us. We can't just give up. There has to be something we can do. We cannot accept defeat now. There must be a solution. Other than the main gate, there's got to be another way into the castle. A sewer, a water course, something. There's nothing I know of that would work. Wait. There is a secret passage into the castle, an escape route for the family. It's too narrow for our troops, but we could send agents through. Too risky. Those agents will be discovered well before they reach the Magister. That's why we need a distraction. Perhaps the envoy Alexius wants so badly. Focus their attention on Trevelyan. While we take out the Tevinters. It's risky, but it could work. Fortunately, you'll have help. This man says he has information about the Magister and his methods, Commander. Your spies will never get past Alexius's magic without my help. So if you're going after him, I'm coming along. The plan puts you in the most danger. We can't in good conscience order you to do this. We can still go after the Templars if you'd rather not play the bait. It's up to you.
Announce us. The Magister's invitation was for Master Trevelyan alone. The others must wait here. If my friends can't enter, then I won't go in either. My Lord Magister, the agents of the Inquisition have arrived. My friend, it's so good to see you again. And your associates, of course. I'm sure we can work out some arrangement that is equitable to all parties. Are we mages to have no voice in deciding our fate? Fiona, you would not have turned your followers over to my care if you did not trust me with their lives. If the Grand Enchanter wants to be part of these talks, then I welcome her as a guest of the Inquisition. Thank you. The Inquisition needs mages to close the breach, and I have them. So, what shall you offer in exchange? Nothing at all. I'm just going to take the mages and leave. And how do you imagine you'll accomplish such a feat? He knows everything, Father. Edix, what have you done? Your son is concerned that you're involved in something terrible. So speaks the thief. Do you think you can turn my son against me? You walk into my stronghold with your stolen mark, a gift you don't even understand, and think you're in control. You're nothing but a mistake. If I'm a mistake, what exactly was the breach supposed to accomplish? It was to be a triumphant moment for the Elder One. For this world. Father, listen to yourself. Do you know what you sound like? He sounds exactly like the sort of villainous cliché everyone expects us to be. Dorian, I gave you a chance to be a part of this. You turned me down. The Elder One has power you would not believe. He will raise the Imperium from its own ashes. That's who you serve. The one who killed the Divine. Is he a mage? Soon, he will become a god. He will make the world bow to mages once more. We will rule from the Boric Ocean to the frozen seas. You can't involve my people in this. Alexius, this is exactly what you and I talked about never wanting to happen. Why would you support this? Stop it, Father. Give up the Venatori. Let the Southern Mages fight the Breach, and let's go home. No. It's the only way, Felix. He can save you. Save me? There is a way. The Elder One promised, if I undo the mistake at the Temple... I'm going to die. You need to accept that. Seize them, Venatori. The Elder One demands this man's life. <laughs> Your men are dead, Alexius. You are a mistake. You should never have existed. No! Blood of the Elder One. Where'd they come from?
interesting. It's probably not what Alexius intended. The rift must have moved us to what? The closest confluence of arcane energy? The last thing I remember, we were in the castle hall. Let's see. If we're still in the castle, it isn't. Oh, of course, it's not simply where, it's when. Alexius used the amulet as a focus. It moved us through time. Did we go forward in time or back? And how far? Those are excellent questions. We'll have to find out, won't we? Let's look around, see where the rift took us. Then we can figure out how to get back. If we can. What was Alexius trying to do? I believe his original plan was to remove you from time completely. If that happened, you would never have been at the Temple of Sacred Ashes or mangled his Elder One's plan. I think your surprise in the castle hall made him reckless. He tossed us into the rift before he was ready. I counted it. The magic went wild, and here we are. Makes sense? It just seems so insane. I don't even want to think about what this will do to the fabric of the world. We didn't travel through time so much as punch a hole through it and toss it into the privy. But don't worry. I'm here. I'll protect you. There were others in the hall. Could they have been drawn through the rift? I doubt it was large enough to bring the whole room through. Alexius wouldn't risk catching himself or Felix in it. They're probably still where and when we left them. In some sense, anyway. Alexius mentioned an elder one in the hall. Do you know who he was talking about? Leader of the Venatori, I suspect. Some magister aspiring to godhood. It's the same old tune. Let's play with magic we don't understand. It will make us incredibly powerful. Evidently, it doesn't matter if you rip apart the fabric of time in the process. You have a plan to get us back, I hope. I have some thoughts on that. They're lovely thoughts, like little jewels.
Perseus has made a dreadful mess of this place, hasn't he? I didn't see this part of the castle. It was covered in the tackiest carvings of wolves and dogs I'd ever seen. This is not an improvement. Andraste blessed me, Andraste blessed me. My tears are my sins, my sins, my sins. Andraste guide me, Andraste guide me. What did they do to you? Andraste blessed me, Andraste blessed me. Sacred Nickers, you're alive. Where were you? How did you escape? We didn't escape. Alexius sent us into the future. Everything that happens to you is weird. You don't look so good, Varric. What happened? Bite your tongue. I look damn good for a dead man. You're no more dead than we are. The not dying version of this red lyrium stuff? Way worse. Just saying. We get to Alexius, and I just might be able to send us back to our own time. Simple, really. That may not be as easy as you'd think. Alexius is just a servant. His elder one assassinated the Empress and led a demon army in a huge invasion of the South. The elder one rules everything. What's left of it, anyway. Alexius is really not the one you need to worry about. I promise you, Varric. We'll make sure none of this happens. I'm pretty sure you're crazy. Or I'm crazy. Either way, it's a nice thought. You want to take on Alexius? I'm in. Let's go. Light shall lead her safely through the paths of this world and into the next. For she who trusts in the Maker, fire is her water. You've returned to us. Can it be? Has Andraste given us another chance? 
Mako, forgive me. I failed you. I failed everyone. The end must truly be upon us if the dead return to life. I'm not back from the dead, Cassandra. I just got... Well, this is hard to explain. I was there. The Magister obliterated you with a gesture. Alexius sent us forward in time. If we find him, we may be able to return to the present. Go back in time? Then can you make it so that none of this ever took place? If Dorian is right and can actually reverse the spell, then yes. None of this will happen. Andraste, please let that be true. Alexius locked himself in the throne room. That is where we'll find him. I don't understand. What's happened to you? Red Miriam. It's a disease. The longer you're near it, eventually you become this. Then they mine your corpse for more. Can you tell us the date? It's very important. Harvest Mia. 942 Dragon. 942? Then we've missed an entire year. We have to get out of here. Go back in time. Please, stop this from happening. Alexius serves the Elder One more powerful than the Maker. No one challenges him and lives. I promise, I will do everything in my power to set things right. Our only hope is to find the amulet that Alexius used to send us here. If it still exists, I can use it to reopen the rift at the exact spot we left. Maybe. Good. I said, maybe. It might also turn us into paste. You must try. Your spy master, Leliana. She is here. 
find her. Quickly, before the Elder One learns you're here. infection. Why is it coming out of the walls? Are you sure you want to find out? Is it coming out of the walls? Are you sure you want to find out? all back together. What could go wrong now? Take a look around. See if there's anything we can use.
future. The Elder One has taken all that is his, and will soon rule from his city. That still doesn't make him a god. Oh! There is no god but the Elder One! The Maker is dead! Say it! Never. I'll die a good Andrastian before living a second as one of you. <laughs> Trevelyan know of the sacrifice of the temple? Answer! Never. Ah! There's no use to this defiance, little bird. There's no one left for you to protect. You're wasting your breath. Ah! Talk! The Elder One demands answers. <laughs> he gets used to disappointment. Ah! She find peace at the Maker's side. Well, that was impressive. Anger is stronger than any pain. Do you have weapons? Good. The Magister's probably in his chambers. You aren't curious how we got here? No. Alexius sent us into the future. This, his victory, his Elder One, it was never meant to be. If we get back to the present and stop Alexius, then you'll never have to go through this. And mages always wonder why people fear them. No one should have this power. It's dangerous and unpredictable. Before the breach, nothing we did. Enough. This is all pretend to you. Some future you hope will never exist. I suffered. The whole world suffered. It was real. What happened while we were away? Stop talking. 
I'm just asking for information. No, you're talking to Phil Silence. Nothing happened that you want to hear. to find Alexius. I'm sure he'll be in the nicer part of the castle, if there is one. to find Alexius. I'm sure he'll be in the nicer part of the castle, if there is one.
the Magister needs more power for his rituals. No! Let me, Linnea. Alexius can't have wanted this. Breach! It's everywhere. Whew. Used to be, it was only dwarves who were afraid of the sky. Now, it's just good sense.
act of courage. He knew there was no other way to resist. He resisted that demon to the last. What became of Felix? Do you know? Yes, I know. And you're not going to tell me? You'll find out soon enough. Alexius will likely be there. What in Andraste's name is that? Hold on to it. 
want to look at it later. Where did Alexius find this? How did he even move it here? Can we open it? Perhaps. But it looks quite strong. How desperate and paranoid must he be? His servants must have a way through. He has to eat. Let's look around.
What happened here? Find Alexius. That's all that matters. Noticed us yet. Good opportunity to look oh. ahead.
damage did Alexis' spell do? Rifts tore apart all of Southern Thedas, starting here. But whether that's his doing or the breach, who can say? did Alexis' spell do? Rifts tore apart all of Southern Thedas, starting here. But whether that's his doing or the breach, who can say? like the Elder One is interested in saving his followers. Let's head back to the main hall. I think I know how we'll open that door.
Look at what you've done, Alexius. All this suffering. And for what? For my country, for my son. But it means nothing now. I knew you would appear again. Not that it would be now, but I knew I hadn't destroyed you. My final failure. Was it worth it? Everything you did to the world, to yourself. It doesn't matter now. All we can do is wait for the end. What do you mean? What's ending? <laughs> the irony that you should appear now of all the possibilities. All that I fought for, all that I betrayed, and what have I wrought? Ruin and death, there is nothing else. The Elder One comes for me, for you, for us all. <sighs> Felix. That's Felix. Make his breath, Alexius. What have you done? He would have died, Dorian. I saved him. Please, don't hurt my son. I'll do anything you ask. Leliana, let Felix go. He's innocent. No one is innocent. <laughs> no. No!
wanted to die, didn't he? All those lies he told himself, the justifications. He lost Felix long ago. He didn't even notice. Oh, Alexius. This Alexius was too far gone. The Alexius in our time might still be reasoned with. I suppose that's true. This is the same amulet he used before. I think it's the same one we made in Minrathus. That's a relief. Give me an hour to work out the spell he used, and I should be able to reopen the rift. An hour? That's impossible! You must go now! You have to hurry. This is bad. We'll hold the main door. Once they break through, it's all you, Nightingale. I can't let you kill yourself for me. There must be another way. Look at us. We're already dead. The only way we live is if this day never comes. Cast your spell. You have as much time as I have hours. darkness closes, I am shielded by flame. Andraste, guide me. Maker, take me to your side. You move, and we all die! <laughs> You'll have to do better than that.
Put aside all claim to Redcliffe, and we let you live. You won. There is no point extending this charade. Felix. It's going to be all right, Father. You'll die. Everyone dies. Well, I'm glad that's over with. Grand Enchanter, we'd like to discuss your abuse of our hospitality. Your Majesties, when we offered the Major Sanctuary, we did not give them the right to drive our people from their homes. King Alistair, Queen Anora, I assure you, we never intended... In light of your actions, good intentions are no longer enough. You and your followers have worn out your welcome. Leave Ferelden, or we'll be forced to make you leave. But... We have hundreds who need protection. Where will we go? The Inquisition might be willing to take in the mages. And what are the terms of this arrangement? Hopefully better than what Alexius gave you. The Inquisition is better than that, yes? I know you are a mage, but consider how these rebels have acted. They must be conscripted, not coddled. I've known a lot of mages. They can be loyal friends if you let them. Friends who make bad decisions, but still, loyal. It seems we have little choice but to accept whatever you offer. We would be honored to have you fight as allies at the Inquisition's side. We'll discuss this later. I'll pray that the rest of the Inquisition honors your promise then. The breach threatens all of Thedas. We cannot afford to be divided now. We can't fight it without you. Any chance of success requires your full support. It's a generous offer. I doubt you're going to get a better one from us. We accept. It would be madness not to. I will gather my people and ready them for the journey to Haven. The breach will be closed. You will not regret giving us this chance. It's not a matter for debate. There will be abominations among the mages, and we must be prepared. If we rescind the offer of an alliance, it makes the Inquisition appear incompetent at best, tyrannical at worst. What were you thinking, turning mages loose with no oversight? The veil is torn open. Give them their freedom for now. If they prove later, they can handle it. Impose restrictions. And how many lives will be lost if they fail? With the veil broken, the threat of possession. You were there, Seeker. Why didn't you intervene? While I may not completely agree with the decision, I support it. The sole point of the Herald's mission was to gain the Mage's aid, and that was accomplished. The voice of pragmatism speaks. And here I was, just starting to enjoy the circular arguments. Closing the breach is all that matters. I got a taste of the consequences if we fail. Let's make sure we don't. We will not fail. We should look into the things you saw in this dark future. The assassination of Empress Selene. A demon army. Sounds like something a Tevinta cult might do. Orle falls, the Imperium rises. Chaos for everyone. One battle at a time. It's going to take time to organize our troops and the mage recruits. 
Let's take this to the war room. Join us. None of this means anything without your mark, after all. Thank you. I'd be honored to help with the plan. Meet us there when you're ready. I'll skip the war council, but I would like to see this breach up close, if you don't mind. Then you're staying. Oh, didn't I mention? The South is so charming and rustic, I adore it to little pieces. I must admit, I'm surprised. We both saw what could happen, what this Elder One and his cult are trying to do. Not everything from Tevinter is terrible. Some of us have fought for eons against this sort of madness. It's my duty to stand with you. That future will not come to pass. Stay if you must, but you'll be watched. Watch away. I have nothing to hide, and evidently plenty to prove. I'll begin preparations to march on the summit. Make a willing, the mages will be enough to grant us victory. The Inquisition appreciates your assistance in this matter, Lady Corbin. And my miners appreciate your business. You'll have your lyrium by the end of the week. I should tell you, Ambassador, the Chantry raised some fuss when they learned about our arrangement. The Inquisition must certainly seem an audacious idea to the Grand Clerics. We hope to convince them it is a necessary one as well. I understand you were instrumental in garnering the assistance of the rebel mages. It is well done. And I pray this Inquisition fares better than the Chantry in its handling of magic. We will try. In some ways, Andraste had the simpler task. Magic should serve man, and not rule over him. That tells us what should be, but it does not tell us how to get there. So many times the methods of men have undone the spirit of their goals. Once you have sealed the breach, we shall see whether this Inquisition is truer to the Chantry, or its own namesake. Farewell, revered mother. Until next time. I greet you. Can you tell me how our people are doing? What would you like to know? How are the villagers in Haven doing? You did well to gain the mages to your cause. The people have hope that the breach may be sealed. Some of them are returning to the lives they fled. Others are starting fresh. In either case, they no longer believe the world as they know it is ending. Do you have information on people elsewhere? The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. Villagers in Crestwood are besieged by their own dead. They have sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empress de Lyon. It may be demons or something worse, but they are terrified. More than that, I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olay and Ferelden. Farewell, revered mother. Make her go with you. I'll take my leave. Good day. Who was she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach out to the Dwarves to secure Lyrium for the Inquisition's mages. According to Lady Corpin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. Oh. Access to Lyrium makes us rather more formidable than I anticipated. We are becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power instead of comforting the masses. The Chantry should be a place of hope, not another group scrambling for answers. That must be its strength again. The Chant did much to bridge nations. Little but the Chantry ties Orlais, Nevara, Ferelden, Antiva, and even Rivain to a common cause. Has the Chantry truly promoted such peace? 
And Rasti's chant is familiar across kingdoms, a source of many shared customs. That is the crucial point. Common ground is the start of all negotiations. I suppose a shared faith can be useful when talking with strangers. Precisely. And these similar interests are merely where we begin. We must learn to think beyond our own wants, to secure peace in Thedas. Planning to steer the history of the world, Ambassador Montillier? I believe the Inquisition is already charting that course. Which brings me to a question, if you have a moment. The remaining Grand Clerics sent a missive inquiring about the events at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. They demand to know whether the Inquisition officially claims that Andraste saved you from the breach. If it were up to you, how would you reply? Will my answer change your reply to the Chantry? If Leliana, Cassandra, Cullen and I could agree on our official stance, I could answer that. We should decide soon. The revered mothers don't seem to know what to make of you. I don't know if a miracle from Andraste saved me any more than they do. Yet as rumors your Andraste's herald grow, the Grand Clerics may not believe such a humble reply. A difficult situation, and I thank you for your answer. A good day to you. More healing drafts for you, revered mother. Thank you. Please tell me if you find something. If Fiona and her malcontents are joining us as allies, we need to be prepared. Abominations are inevitable. Cullen doesn't have enough Templars to handle incidents. Some of the rank and file need to be trained. The last thing we need are abominations running amok. I knew you would have a proper grasp of the situation. I'll have a word with Cullen. We are reliant on his people, absolutely. There has never been a greater threat to mages than the Breach. Until it is closed, no one is safe. If you're seeing demons everywhere, do you believe you're a risk? Do you believe I am? We are a risk, darling. Better to know it and use caution. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. You're preaching to the choir, Vivian. Tell me something. You told me that you'd see the Chantry restored. What about the Circle? The Circle has to be restored if you want to keep the peace. That's comforting to hear, but you'll find opposition to the idea even among friends. It's something to consider, my dear. Blackwall knows nothing about the disappearance of the Grey Wardens. It's a disappointment. I am, however, glad that he is with us. Even if he was not what I expected. He seems to be a good man, and his experience will be an asset to the Inquisition. As for the other Wardens, I suppose we will have to keep looking. In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. It was still a sacrifice, and still noble. And I would do it again. 
Anything I should know? Altegan has returned to Redcliffe Castle and resumed his duties as Lord. The people are returning, slowly but surely. Unfortunately, our show of support for the mages has angered many. I'll leave you to your work. Your open support for the mages likely earned you enemies. Our agents will monitor the situation. If the most opposed can be identified, we may still turn this to our advantage. You're not planning assassinations, are you? I was planning to unleash Josephine on them. She kills with kindness. Regardless, I applaud you for the courage to stand up for the mages. Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. I'll leave you to your work. Yes? I'll leave you to your work. Well, that's mages all over. So many robes, I bet all of Ferelden lost their curtains. I'll just be the other side of Haven, just in case. Do you have a problem with our new allies, with mages? No problem with mages. You're fine, right? My problem is magic. If mages sat on their hands, everything would be fine. I mean, yay, freedom. Great for them. Over there, away from me. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. So we have gained the mages. Excellent. They should be able to seal the breach. You are certain you experienced time travel. Could it have been an illusion? A trick of the Fade? I've been to the Fade before. I'd know it. Point taken. What an amazing gift. It is vital the Inquisition succeed to avoid the future you witness. I'm surprised you're not more interested in your own future. I know enough. If that future happened, then I, and Cassandra, Cullen and the rest, failed to stop this Elder One. Speaking of which, you should ready yourself. For? This Elder One? You have now interfered with his plans twice. Once at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and now again at Redcliffe. A being who aspires to godhood is unlikely to ignore such an affront. How can I help? We'll talk later. Goodbye. The Inquisition supports free mages. What's next? Elves running Halamshiral? Cows milking farmers? I take it you don't agree? On the contrary, I approve. Heartily. I do wonder if you've considered what this support of yours will do. For mages in general, I mean. The Inquisition is seen as an authority. You've given southern mages license to, well, be like mages back home. What would be wrong with that exactly? Nothing, at first. Thing is, the Imperium was once just like the South. Templars, proper circles, all that rot. Then it changed by inches. Not that this is reason to oppress us. Still. My homeland should be a cautionary tale, not a source of inspiration. It occurs to me that I barely know anything about you. Beyond my being a mage from Tevinti, you mean? Beyond that, yes. And beyond my being so charming and well-dressed, which is obvious to anyone. You certainly think highly of yourself. 
It's true. I could be more modest, but I'd be lying. Now, what was I talking about? Ah, yes, me. I am the scion of House Parvis, a product of generations of careful breeding and the repository of its hopes and dreams. Naturally, I despised it all. The lies, the scheming, the illusions of supremacy. That's Tevinter in a nutshell, isn't it? Needless to say, my family was not happy with my choices. What do you mean by generations of careful breeding? The great families of Tevinter don't have children. They refine traits, weed out the undesirable, and promote the rest. My mother was chosen for my father because magic runs strongly in her blood. Never mind that they loathed each other. They wanted a son who could become Archon to make House Parvis the envy of the Imperium. They got me. A cautionary tale that you should be careful what you wish for. 